Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> What's going on guys? In today's video, I want to talk about something a little bit different today. I want to talk about why I chose to get an automatic Dodge Challenger RT versus getting a manual one, which on my channel, just like most you know automotive YouTubers, everyone's gonna always say, you know, a manual, you know, manuals are, are still cool. You know, if you can get a manual, you should, you know, get one. And if you've never driven one, you should drive one. Um, I still think that's totally true. Um, but in this video, I kind of want to talk to, talk to you guys about why I have an automatic and not a manual. Um, and I kind of break it down into three different categories, but or three different reasons. But before I do that, I want to talk about my past briefly, real quickly. Before I had this Dodge Challenger RT, I had a manual Camaro RS. It was a V6. Um, that was my first manual car that I had that I, you know, I purchased. Um, I've before that I've driven manual before, but not for like a super extended period of time. So you know, for me, buying that car, literally, I just jumped into it and was like, okay, I didn't even know. I literally, I was too worried to drive it home. <laughs> so I had my like father-in-law literally drive it home for me. Uh, but yeah, so that was my first manual car, and I absolutely loved it. And then after that, when I bought my Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, I was actually looking for a manual one, but I ended up getting a automatic just because I couldn't really find a manual one, you know, in the time frame that I was that I, I wanted one. So I got automatic. But so now I'm in this the Dodge Challenger RT, and this is a automatic. Um, and yeah, it really kind of break. It, it, it's really a couple of different reasons why I got the automatic and not getting a manual. And uh, I guess the first reason is uh, I bought my Challenger, you know, pre-owned. I did not buy it new. This is a 2017, um, and yeah, I bought it in 2018. I bought it, you know, a year, a year old. Uh, but I couldn't really find a manual one in my area that was in the price range that I was looking at. Um, you know just like a lot of other type of vehicles, um, especially in the Challengers, which I've been seeing, and inside the Jeep Wranglers as well. Manuals, they are a premium. Um, it's more of a, uh, you know, enthusiast, you know, they want those vehicles. So they're gonna be, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna hold their value a little bit more. Um, and yeah, so I really couldn't find one. I was looking for a manual one, but I really wasn't, you know, at the time I wasn't really like set on, do I want a manual, do I want an automatic? I was, it was really kind of more of, what I could find, you know, I wanted it to, you know, A, I wanted my car to be black, um, which, I mean, I guess that wasn't that hard to find, but uh, to get a black RT with the 5.7 engine, um, you know, my, my options were limited. So I guess the number one reason was I couldn't really find one. If I would have found one, you know, if I would have found a manual one for the same price, um, um, but yeah, it just, I just couldn't find one. So that was definitely one of the major reasons why, especially if you're buying one pre-owned, if you're buying one new, you know, you can just, you know, order it from the factory new, uh, new with a manual. Um, you know, you can totally do that, but if you're going the pre-owned route, uh, most people, you know, have automatic. So automatic's going to be flooding the market. Getting a manual one is going to be a little bit harder. It's not, not a little bit, it's going to be much harder and, um, expect, like dealerships or if you're going to buy it from a you know uh, private party they're going to uh they're going to charge a little bit more of a premium for those vehicles so that's number one reason couldn't really find one um the second reason why i got the automatic was because when i had the camaro a part of me i don't know how to quite explain it when you get older and you're like married and you're you know in a committed relationship and you're like engaged and stuff like that, just like myself, uh, you know, you you do feel a tad bit uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> There's somewhat of guilt if you buy something and your partner can't really drive it, and that kind of played a part in this as well. Uh, when I had the Camaro, my fiance she never drove it. Um, she wanted to learn manual. But she was, I don't know, she, she felt a little bit too intimidated by it. Um, and, and I could totally see that. You know, you don't want to, like, you know, get, get in someone's car and, like, you know, burn out their clutch trying to learn. Um, so, yeah, so I can definitely see that being a, a problem. So when I had the Camaro, our options were kind of limited. You know, if we needed to switch cars, if, if I needed to take her, her car, she couldn't really take my car. So I felt kind of bad with that. Please hold as we do a quick acceleration. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> Uh, that never gets old. Even in the 5'7", that still never gets old. <laughs> Anyways, where was I? But yeah, um, you know, if we needed to switch cars, it, it, that became a problem. Um, so, you know, even after I had the Camaro, when I had the Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, it made things a little bit easier if we ever needed to switch cars for some reason. Like if you need to take my car, you know, if you want to take the dog somewhere in my car or something like that, it was much easier. Uh, we didn't have to worry about, oh, you, you know, you can't really drive my car. Um, so that's, you know, granted, though, that type of situation is kind of limited to someone, you know, like me or if you're kind of older or something like that. But for me personally, that that was part of the, the reason why getting an automatic, it just seemed a little bit easier just, you know, for just ease of if someone needed to use my, my car, they could. Um, granted, though, some other people, though, they're going to say, hey, having a manual, that'll, that'll be a benefit because other people can't drive your car, which I could totally see that being a uh, you know a benefit but you know it just depends on your situation and then kind of the third reason is going to be uh mostly because i was curious i was very curious about the zf um eight transmission that's in the dodge challenger now everyone says these transmissions are pretty good and i can say honestly just driving it you know just having it for a couple months now i love it like if i just do a quick it downshifts for me immediately. If I just tap the, the, the throttle, it downshifts immediately. The transmission is, this transmission is like very smart. It knows what I want it to do. Um, and I'm really happy about that. I'm actually gonna get power shifters installed uh, literally this week coming up um and i mean this this transmission honestly like for an automatic it's so good i'm gonna turn left here and if i just look at this now the transmission downshifts up up it's really fast i know even people say for the v6 the transmission that's made it up to that it it really helps bring out you know the most performance of the v6 um so yeah i was actually really curious to see how well the you know zf transmission was going to be inside this vehicle and i can i can happily say that it's it's pretty good like i like it a lot um, especially coming from my jeep wrangler which i had to a 2010 that had i believe a four speed in it that thing uh <laughs> coming from that to this it's like night and day just night and day and even driving this compared to like other like normal vehicles um the transmission feels so lively and getting power shifters installed that's gonna that's gonna definitely waking up the car a lot i know it's still not the same uh it's not the same feeling of driving manual and there really is something about driving manual you know it's you kind of get that pride of being able to shift gears and like do it properly and like rev matching and stuff like that that you know you're not going to have inside an automatic obviously but you know for you know having a nice fun daily this is i think it's totally fine um so i i am happy with that you know for what the vehicle can do i am happy that this transmission you know it it, it is doing what it's what it's doing um and then the other thing that kind of goes along with that same point it's kind of the elephant in the room which everyone kind of knows at this point in time automatics are just so much nicer now there's that oh. saying that manuals impress high school girls and then like automatics win races um i mean it's kind of true at this point uh you know it, it really is the elephant in in the room i mean as technology just progresses automatics are just so much better now um don't get me wrong you know you can still win inside like a manual trans transmission um and there's a lot of different you know options for for manuals now especially the like uh sequential boxes those are pretty cool um but it's just that the technology has come so much further along that i don't know maybe it's time people try something different and you know hey my thing is though i still think manuals are really fun to have and i definitely still want to have a manual transmission car like if you're new to my channel, I'm actually in the process. I'm looking for a Jeep Cherokee or a Jeep TJ, like an older Wrangler. 
And I would love to get a manual one. I know that they made manual Cherokees. Um, I forgot the year. They're like the older ones, like 90, I want to say, I want to say like 95, something like that. Uh, they had manual ones. If I could find one like, you know, if I could find a manual one, I would totally buy one. But then again, that goes along with the other point. People, you know, manuals, they're going to they're gonna cost more just because, you know, they're more of a premium vehicle and people want them. Um, but, you know, A, that that's just part of it, though. But I think it would be cool to definitely have another, you know, a manual vehicle as a secondary car. That's something I, I can teach my fiance how to drive in and just kind of, you know, you know, I don't know, just enjoy it for what it is. But, uh, yeah. But with know. that in mind, do I regret my decision of getting an automatic? Um, No. I don't, I don't really think I do. I like it for what it is. I know that you could have more fun if you're driving a manual. Um, just on the day-to-day basics, you know, you can really just have a lot more fun of just, you know, going through, like, even taking this, like, road up here right now. Doing this in a manual would be more fun. It, 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 it would be. Um, but it's not to say that doing this, doing this inside of automatic isn't fun. Um, and then, you know, you get the benefits of doing your straight line performance, you know, zero to sixties and stuff like that, because you can get a much more consistent time of doing it with automatic. Um, I mean, even, even with the automatic, you still have to, you know, manage tail, uh, not tail, wheel spin and stuff like that. Um, if you can take that element out of the, uh, if you can take the element of shifting gears out of the, uh, you know, equation, you know, you can get a much more consistent time when you're doing zero to sixties and times like, like that. So you know, automatics, they do have their place in their time, and they do have their place in, like, you know, driving and stuff like that, so, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it, that's pretty much my reasons why I got the automatic, um, like I said, if I could have found a manual, would I would have purchased one? Probably, um, but, you know, I'm not regretting my decision of getting a automatic, I still think it's fine, I'm getting paddle shifters installed, I think that's gonna help, you know, liven up the vehicle a lot more, still have a little bit more fun, um, you know, I can obviously shift, I can manually shift gears, you put aside the manual mode, it's, you know, it's it's okay, I don't really, I don't know why, I don't, I don't really like using the, uh, like, auto stick, it's, it's okay, you can downshift, it's okay, but it's not really my favorite thing, I don't know why, it, to me, this doesn't feel as genuine as, like, a normal, you know, I would, for me, I would rather shift gears with a PAL shifter versus using this, I don't know. Some people say that they like this a lot more, more power to you. But for me, it's, I don't, I don't, I don't know why. I just don't really, I don't really like doing it this, this way. Um, but yeah, but with that in mind, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like and leave a comment below. Let me know. Do you guys drive automatic or do you guys drive a manual? And let me know why you guys drive what you drive in the comment section below. But yeah, if you're interested in inside any of my videos, check out my channel. I've done a ton of videos on my Dodge Challenger RT before that on my Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. I did a lot of DIY stuff, uh, just a lot of different stuff on that vehicle. And even before that, I did videos on um, the Camaro. So if, you, if you're interested in any of that type of stuff, check out my channel. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.